first of all, there's many recipes for black salt as there is people. <laughs> um, there's probably over 200 different uh, different ways to make black salt, all right? And a lot of people get really anal about the stuff they use and, and how it should be done and this and that and everything else. Uh, when really, uh-uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? What matters is your intent. Um, what matters is what you put into it. Um, I don't care what ingredients you have. They're just ingredients, okay? Whether you got... Uh, some people like to use ashes from incense. Some people like to use ashes from, from cooking fire. Uh, some people like to get charcoal uh, cubes. Uh, some people like to use whatever. You know, same with the salt. All different types of salt and everything else. It's got nothing to do with it, okay? It's your intent. It's your prayers. It's your wisdom. It's your uh, emotion. Um, and all that that you put into it is what gives it its strength. It's just ingredients. Okay. Now, <clears throat> there's all kinds of extras you can add to it, too. And people add all kinds of different things for different reasons. All right. But just for basic black salt, you basically only need two ingredients. <laughs> uh, charcoal and salt. So that's a, that's a basic. And then you can add an extra ingredients, like an extra couple of ingredients or, or whatever. Um, let's say you just want it to keep dark things out of your house okay to put like a barrier up all you need is your prayers your intentions some charcoal and some salt and that'll do the trick okay um, maybe you want to also let's say not only keep the stuff out but keep positivity in right so then maybe you want to add some cinnamon to it or you want to add some um, crushed sugar cubes, you know, uh, and something sweet, right, to keep the positive energy inside and the dark energy outside. But anyway, there's, like I say, hundreds and hundreds of different things you can do with it. But what you really need is the base, okay, to keep stuff out of your house, which is simply salt and charcoal, okay. And I'm just going to use regular table salt and actual charcoal, okay, uh, that you buy for your, um, buy for your barbecue because that's good enough um, the ingredients are only like 20% of what it is okay uh, the rest of it is up to you okay but I'm gonna show you the basics uh, on how to make black salt uh, what to do uh, just basically to get crap out of your house okay and then anything else you want to add to it or whatever that's up to you right so I'll be back in a minute my container of black salt I'm getting kind of low anyway all right, there's my grater. <laughs> I got this for a dollar from the dollar store. All right. Uh, here's a piece of charcoal. We can use, use, use that for now. And, of course, salt. Right? So we'll have salt there. All right. Uh, so basically, that's it. That's all you need uh, to make your base for black salt. Okay? So I'll see if I can just set this up somehow. Should work. Okay, hopefully that works. I cannot see. Oh yeah. Okay, so what I'll do is just to show you. I'm not going to make a whole bunch or anything, but just to show you how it works. Uh, I take my thing, and then I say our family chant, right? Um, but I'll do I'll do that just to show you. All right. So say I want to make some I go. Say ya, 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 say and like I say, this is just a quick little demonstration. All right. So as you can see, I got charcoal. Look at that. Okay, now 
our chant is instead of saying, uh, I ask the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, I ask for the elementals, I ask for Sister Moon, Brother Son, you know, all that is put into the chant. So that's why we, we use the chant. Okay? We will uh, obviously use the prayers and stuff too. Now with the solid, same thing. Say ya, say ya, say ya. Say ya, say ya, say ya. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Alright, so now we got both charcoal and salt. So at that point, that's when I need to get my mortar and pestle. So hopefully I can do this without the foam falling down. Go boom. Okay, good. So now I'm just going to pour the stuff I made into my mortal and pestle. All right. Remember, intention is is 99% of it, right? And your prayers, and your belief. Without belief, uh, without your intention, without faith, it's just ingredients okay I ask the Father Son the Holy Spirit to bless what I am making to keep its intention pure hey 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 I ask the Father Sky and Mother Earth to bless my work to make this keep out anything that is not eat the bird that I don't want around hey 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 ya, hey ya, hey ya, say ya, say ya, say ya. I ask for Brother Sun and Sister Moon to bless this and keep its vision clear so that everyone can see. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, say ya, say ya, say ya. I ask Sister Lake and Brother Mountain to make my intentions fuse into my material. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, say ya, say ya, say ya. I also ask the four colors in the four directions that see all, watch all, and know all to give this a little extra strength to make sure that I can keep anything dark out of the house. Hey ya, 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 hey ya. And lastly, I ask the elementals, who are my friends, to bless me and bless my creation. Hey ya, 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 hey ya. And there you have it. Then just clean it off. All right. So there it is inside there. See. So now what I'm gonna do? Take my jar. And like I said, I only made like a half an ounce just to show you. But then you would put it into your container. Okay. Get as much out as you can of it. There you have it. Okay, and that's what it looks like. The finished product. Alright, so there's your finished product in there. See? Pretty nice, huh? And then you pour it into your jar. And you just fill your jar. Now, that was just a little wee bit just to show you um, how to do it. Enjoy that. I hope that helps you out. Um, but you can do all kinds of different things. Um, you are the one making it, so it's your intentions, okay? So, but the, the base is you need salt and charcoal, okay? And then you know what you do with your cinnamon. You know what you do with <clears throat> uh, peppermint or uh, acorns or whatever uh, and what they represent to you. So you can put a little extra into your black salt for what it means to you. And just remember, no recipe is wrong because it's your recipe and it's your intentions. All right. So until next time, stay blessed. All right. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.